Welcome back to No Looks Film Session. We're on week 13. We played 13 whole weeks with no bye week. Not one break in between each game back to back. And um, honestly, in previous Maddens, that wouldn't have mattered. But now that it's a uh, newer, newer type of Madden, the schedule is longer. And they added fatigue into uh, week by week, basically fatigue for a week by week basis and how you're gonna train your players on top of that. I touched on it a little bit before, but you know, a lot of our backups are getting starter reps because we haven't had a break. And uh, I think one of a prime example here, let's get into it is uh, Anthony Barr and Michael Pierce being injured. And it's like, okay, that makes sense. And then you go through the training for the week and you have a shoulder strain by uh, Calhoun. And, you know, people are getting better, but as you can see the fatigue, you see the green or red, you know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden you got Shaq Calhoun injured for the game, who's a backup, but like, you know, people are, and that's been happening, you know, people have been getting injured during uh, training. So right here, you know, the Patriots, they're top five in passing yards and their fucking defense is serious it you can tell i was struggling to really get my shit off against their defense passing wise offense wise we focus down on mac jones and uh you know that they're, they're pretty easy to scout they're almost last in everything like we did medium passing because he's not even going to go down the field like that i mean this was a pretty easy game plan. Let's get into the intro. Let's get into it. We've been going after Mac Jones' neck from the very beginning, even right there, you know what I'm saying? Unbalanced on the left, had more people rushing than they had blocking. Boom. Once again, we got P their tackles, man. Their tackles were just suffering all game. Danielle Hunter going crazy all game it was crazy um we've had three and outs this game their their de excuse me their defense is not to be messed with nelson aguilar he caught one same drive he goes to the same side of the field boom another one so you know, Dan, uh, I was about to say Daniel Jones. Mac Jones is driving down the field at this point. And uh, it's 0-0, and it's just been a real close one, a real tough one for us, you know, offensively too. 
And then AJ Boye pulls off another interception. He's like fucking Jalen Ramsey at this point. Just shutting down sides. Like all sides that uh that he's on. He's shutting it down. Right there, we had a stunt. Right there, our formation told you all blitz, but it wasn't all blitz. It was not all blitz. And the people that went back in the coverage, you just couldn't. So we have a deep out and a curl in. Antonio Brown going to his former team. He used to play for the Patriots. And uh, he was showing out. Him and Adam Thielen was showing out. One of my favorite routes for a running back in this game, the fake sweep or the fake uh, swing, and then you cut it right back in. They call it Texas in this game, but yeah. So right here, usually it takes me out, but then I had deja vu for some reason because week four, we play the Lions and the exact same lineman catches the exact same pass in the exact same part of the field. And does the same thing. So I'm starting to think this is like a real play for us. This isn't like some type of like Madden thing. Alright, so you got your safeties coming down. But you don't know if they're really about to come down. But we do have a high post. And somewhat of a crossing route. Antonio Brown. Hey, hey. <laughs> But nah, yeah, Antonio Brown doing his thing in New England. I mean, that's no coincidence. Uh, we're just going to have to break this one down. There was a lot going on. You know, there's a lot to read in the pre-snap. You go in the pre-snap, you see the whole box. No safeties. So somebody's either going in coverage or they're not. They have more people coming than that than we have blocking, so you have to make quick maps, quick maps. The only person in front of their person is Antonio Brown. Everyone else is pretty much covered. Somebody was breaking on the right side, but why not Antonio Brown for the TD instead of a first down? Just little things to read. So we have play action here. Uh, we have an out streak on the right side. It's about to get hit. Antonio Brown it did not count but that is the greatest catch that did not count so that's why I showed it yes it did not count but damn that shit was crazy <laughs> and he only missed it by like half of his shoe so we have some crossing routes here Tyler Conklin ah getting that first I uh hot routed Adam Thielen to do a curl because I didn't want him to do a streak and waste his fatigue you know waste energy you don't have to do all that i got a hot route to a corner right here even though i have a, a short out that you round off to the right that wasn't working uh like i said a lot of a lot of the plays coverage was really doing their job and this is one of the plays that covers did their job i threw it in the double coverage because it was justin jefferson but at the end of the day, I should have just gave it to Antonio Brown, ran the ball, or gave it to Adam Thielen. So, you would think that they would capitalize. No, Mac Jones threw an interception to Harrison Smith, and we get the ball back. One of my favorite plays, a mesh post. You got Conklin going in motion, and then he just flies off. And usually, the post should be open so I got Justin Jefferson right there last game against the 49ers I had Adam Thielen going out to the right side so got Justin Jefferson with another one another one fam and uh you know we've been running a lot of outs this game at the same time we've been running posts too posts and outs because I'm trying to break from the defensive coverage they have like the defensive coverage they have is so tight on curls streaks um you know i haven't ran any shakes you know the little circly corner route i haven't ran that they have really been on it slants i haven't been really you know slants is my shit so 
So let's break this down right here. Take a little snapshot, you see they're in zone blitz. So if they're in zone blitz, that means they're in man. If they're in man, and somebody is breaking on their route to be open. I'm looking around, take a little snapshot. Nobody's about to be open unless they break. The break is right there. So no one's open on their break except one person and it's all the way down. You throw it to a spot, throw it to an exact spot in the field and he goes to the spot and he catches it. Go ahead and spike that bad boy. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you do that shit. You just throw it to a spot and the receiver should be able to do the rest. I would give it to Dalvin Cook, but Antonio Brown was at the first down line, so why not take that chance as third down? Boom. I mean, he's been doing crazy catches all game. Right here, formation, they don't cover Justin Jefferson. I have no, I mean, Adam Thielen. I have no clue why. So I'm just uh, hot routing for slants on the left side, and they actually do go into coverage, uh, coincidentally. But uh, the coverage just wasn't the correct coverage because it wasn't fast enough. It's 21-3. I mean, we're not skunking them, but it's close. <laughs> and more tackle abuse. Lineman abuse. Coach has no idea what's going on. Just blitz after blitz. Ah, I had to do something. If this was actually face of the franchise, he would have got tackled and this would have been stupid. So, anyway, we got a cross, we got a corner, we got a streak. Of course, the crosses are usually open. Tony O'Brown. Come on, man. So here we're at the goal line. I mean, Dalvin Cook, we gotta feed him. You gotta feed the beast. Have a zone run, second and goal, inside zone. Hey, 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 I love <laughs> He looks so uninterested starting starting the dance off. It's so funny how he just turns around just like so nonchalant. Like, <laughs> I find that funny as shit, and I have no idea why. So, Dalvin Cook getting the touchdown. At this point, we're just doing what we do. We're on the fucking benches, standing up, yelling at the crowd. Like, it's it's all bad for the Patriots. Mac Jones, this is what we do, man, right here. Uh, Eric Kendricks with the third interception of the game. Not by him specifically, but by our team. Our defense going crazy, bro. Rashad Penny. Again, run it up, 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 run it up. 20th career touchdown. Adam Thielen with his 50th career touchdown in this game. I mean... We're just, we just got all types of milestones this game, like craziness. And again, you know, we're up so much that our defense gets all nonchalant and uh, lazy and they don't finish the games. If this were to happen against the Washington football team, we would have lost. But alas, we were up by too much. 300 by him. Coincidentally, 230 by me. Three touchdowns, one interception. 100 yards, 22 carries. Dalvin Cook. Damian Harris, 14 carries, 70 yards. You know, Rashad Penny didn't get that many. Uh, I didn't really run that many times. Nelson Aguilar, I guess, stepped up. You know, you got Justin Jefferson and... Antonio Brown stepping up, Adam Thielen. But the more, the more we play, the better we get. And the result of that is Everson Griffin. Five whole sacks. Don't nobody else matter, man. Five sacks. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I will see y'all at the bye week with the surprise.